<laughs> Hello, you're right. It does look quite something around here. And in case you guys haven't figured it out, your song was just a little confusing. It's the 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve service, which is tomorrow, December 24th. Well, of course it's the 23rd. We get so busy this time of year that sometimes it's just confusing. Anyway, welcome. My name is Mrs. Evans, and I'm the choir director right here. Can I help you? I hope so. The name's Blonde. James Blonde. <laughs> I get that a lot. Anyway, I'm a reporter for the Ma Olive newspaper. Wow, really? Oh my, the Ma Olive? I was given the assignment for the front page of my story for Christmas morning. Wow, front page? I'm an investigative reporter. No fluff here. I want that. Not for me, of course. A good reporter can get personally involved in her story. Of course. But I'm searching for the truth, for the readers. I want evidence. Choose evidence about what? This scene, this whole mystery manger scene. The wise man, the baby Jesus story. My boss thought it'd be a good place to start. Well, Miss Blind, Jane <coughs> Blind. <laughs> has a ring to a gun. <laughs> Welcome. This is the best place to start. Now understand, this is for the reader, not me.
really have you hard evidence and proof? Or is it all just wishful thinking and pretty songs? Yes, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, and yes. <laughs> yes, he did exist. Yes, he was a teacher. No, he was much more than a prophet. And no, he was not crazy. <laughs> Yes, we have hard evidence. Yes, we have proof. All right. No, this is not just tradition. It all actually happened. That leaves one more yes. Yes, it was a pretty song. And we love to sing about Jesus. That's, a, that's the whole reason we celebrate Christmas. Show me the evidence. I want to see real historical facts. Do you have any eyewitness accounts? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I want to talk to them. But Miss John, <laughs> they were born 2,000 years ago. Well, then we better hurry, at their age there's no one to lose. I'm sorry, we're not still around. But they did lose their accounts. They're called the Gospels. Each one stresses different 
point in like the Son of God or the servant king. And these days in, and I think God did this to reach his people. But the reader seemed it quick and, and concise. I need to know grab their attention. I need a lead sentence. I need a sound bite. One sentence time, we can sum the whole Christmas story in one verse. Sometimes people make this a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Should the word that goes out?
that sound convincing, and I'm all ears people, but I still feel like I'm missing some kind of connection here. What proof do you have that Lisa may be born on earth to the God of heaven? I'm all looking for obvious clues. Like what? Fingerprints, evidence, even expert testimony. Testimonies, huh? Oh, Parker has a testimony. He's a bit of a history book. Oh yeah, I remember Michael's father didn't understand either. He's a believer now.
more than enough facts, that's for sure. Well, Mrs. Evans, I better get back to work and get to my desk. Best wishes to you all on your Christmas classes tomorrow night, and I'll see if I can swing by. But make sure you check the article first thing tomorrow morning. Well, thank you all for your help, good luck, and good night. Good night, hope we see you tomorrow. Okay, boys and girls, it's getting late and your parents are always asleep. Get a good night of sleep and be ready for our Christmas party tomorrow night.